Up to the age of 12, Yelena Green was a fit and healthy girl, but she started suffering a series of strange injuries, including dislocating her knees and hips, which eventually led to her being diagnosed with a very rare Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Now known as EDS, it weakens her body's connective tissue, something which then affects everything from her skin to organs and bones, and means she's now virtually bedbound to prevent further dislocations or even breaking her neck family are campaigning to raise the £90,000 needed for specialist neurosurgery that's only available in Spain or America. Fiona Irving has been to meet her. This is the only way Elena can hug her dad. She suffers from extreme pain. Her joints dislocate more than 40 times a day. I don't sleep a lot at night, so by the time it comes to like 6 o'clock in the morning, mom will give me some pain relief because I, I've been struggling all night with that. And then I'll probably sleep until about 12 o'clock in like lunchtime. And then I'll probably have another painkiller because I'm struggling again. Um, in that time, I'll have probably dislocated a lot of joints and I've had to put them back in again. Um, so that's hard. She suffers from a condition called Erlos Danlos syndrome. The collagen in Elena's connective tissues is super stretchy. Whilst most people can rotate their neck 45 degrees. Elena can rotate hers 110. When she looks backwards, you see what a huge curve there is. It's far more than the average person can do. And if you look carefully here, you see that this vertebral body moves backwards and this one moves backwards. So there is significant instability in the upper cervical spine. Her family are hoping to raise £90,000 for surgery, which braces her neck to stop it dislocating. There's not enough clinical evidence in the UK for the NHS to offer the surgery, but Elena's hoping to have the operation in Spain. In 80% of cases, that would give them 80-90% relief of their symptoms. Elena was a normal girl before she got sick. Her parents say the operation is not only life-changing, but life-saving. The prognosis would be um, fit um, and then potentially paralysis and then even death, obviously, is the ultimate, uh, where if you break your neck... Yeah, she's in, sorry, she's in danger. <laughs> Elena just wants to be able to get out of bed and get back to school. Fiona Irving, BBC Southeast Today, Haywards Heath.